Sa Cafes YouTube and welcome back to my channel. Let us make some black pepper chicken. it's so nice to have you back here in my kitchen i'm gonna be making some gorgeous black pepper chicken so in my bowl i've got some chicken thighs that's boneless went in with a little oil with some sea salt and garlic going in with some freshly ground black pepper this is really important freshly ground is always best however if you just have the black pepper you can just use that one okay going in with some of my coconut aminos i got this one from TK Maxx, it's a great substitute for soy sauce if you don't want to use soy sauce. And I'm going in with some corn flour or cornstarch. This will keep it nice and crispy. So yeah, mix it in well. Set it to one side to marinate and then we're going to work on some veggies. For veggies, I like to use some onion some celery and some red bell pepper okay cut it into bite-sized pieces just into small cubes and then you're gonna set that to one side while we work on making a sauce So for the sauce, you're going back in with some more of that coconut aminos and then you want to put about 2-3 to three tablespoons in this. Go in with some black pepper, about a teaspoon. I sort of just keep grinding until my hand starts to hurt, so about a teaspoon. Going to add in some black cherry just to give it a little bit of sweetness. You can always just add some dates or whatever, but I'm also going in with some chicken stock as well. Mix that in really well, just combine everything fully. In a pan, go in with some oil, I'd say about a quarter cup of oil. And then you just want to fry your chicken for about two to three minutes on both sides until it's nice and golden. And yes, my darlings, cook it through. Make sure your heat is sort of like on uh, low to medium. You don't want this to cook too fast and burn. But yeah, after you place it in the pot, leave it for about two to three minutes before flipping it over. And then you're gonna remove it from the pot once it's all cooked.
all my chicken was nicely fried i'm gonna go ahead and just remove it so yes my darlings this took me about 10 minutes to do in total because i had to fry my chicken in batches really important that you don't overcrowd the pot when you're doing this because you know sometimes chicken will not end up being crispy it's just gonna end up being soggy and full of liquid because the pot has too many pieces so yeah fry it in about two to three batches if you have to like i did and yes my darlings once this is done gonna go on to the second part because we're literally nearly done Using the same pot that I fried the chicken in, I removed some of the oil and now I'm going to saute in my celery, onions and my pepper just for about a minute or so just till it starts to soften and then I'm going to go back in with my gorgeous chicken pieces. After my chicken has been put in, gonna mix it in well and then we're gonna go ahead and add in the sauce. This, this recipe is so easy, so simple, literally you'll be done in about 20 minutes and I actually made some sides to go with this because yes my darlings, you can choose to have it on its own but I did make a little rice and greens to have it with. So yeah, coat it in the sauce. If you want to thicken the sauce, you can just go in with a little corn flour slurry. So about a teaspoon of corn flour and about a tablespoon of water. Water. But I sort of just let this reduce for about a minute or two on high heat and this was perfectly fine for me But like I said, you can always just thicken the gravy a little bit if you prefer This was done. I turned off the heat I garnished with a little bit more of that freshly cracked black pepper and oh my goodness the flavor was absolutely insane but yes, my darlings, this was my black pepper chicken all done. I actually made some rice on the side and some greens to enjoy this with. And I'm going to plate it up to show you how amazing it looks. So I really hope you enjoy this quick black pepper chicken recipe. Let's plate up some so that we can all enjoy. And yes, it has been a pleasure having you here in my kitchen. And I can't wait to see you in my next one. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.